Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this one several times before, so that's where some of these annotations are coming from. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that one right there. And the first update comes about, which actually happened yesterday, but um, you know, I was not, I didn't do a video on it yesterday, I don't think. But that's where the update needs to be made because it actually played into today's price action. And that update is based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And that played out perfectly this morning. When you look here during the first 30 minutes of the day, the bulls, you know, tried to make a move upwards, but you know, surprise, surprise, you can see right where they were rejected was essentially at that red line and you know, down the price went from there. So 30 cents has been confirmed as resistance, but that's more so an overarching level of resistance because as it stands right now, that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average is now crossing down below it and hence the name of it moving average. So that line will continue to move its way downwards and get more and more relevant as time goes by. So what's my point? My point is, yeah, 30 cents is a level of resistance, but before you start talking about doing battle and breaking up above 30 cents, the bulls are gonna first need to break above and stay above that purple line as time unfolds. So those are definitely gonna be the two key levels of resistance going forward. What about levels of support? In terms of where the buyers are, you know, it's pretty much where the bleeding stopped today. And that was right down there at 24 cents. So really as simple as that from the support standpoint, you know, when you have a chart that's basically at all time lows, uh, wherever it stops going down, that's where the buyers reveal themselves. Is that a guaranteed bottom? Absolutely not, especially when you consider the, the, the overall downtrend that this one's been in. Uh, but uh, you know, this one has bounced nicely in the past. And you know, um, logic and history suggest it will bounce again. Of course, you know, there's no uh, you know holy grail telling you when exactly it will bounce, but it's at least worth keeping an eye on. And for those of you that care about more so a bigger uh, you know time frame of things, you know, these are all the technical levels that uh, you know are relevant at this point in time. So yeah, let's see how the week continues to play out. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.